Now let's go ahead and descend 500 feet straight eastbound from 4500 to 4000, slow flight. Down to 4,000 in slow flight. Uh, 2388 north of the field, currently uh, 10 o'clock and 5. Uh, 2388 has the airport. Excellent. So 2388, Clivage approach runway 24. 2388, Clivage approach runway 24. Uh, 2388, Towers 19.3, good day. Uh, 2388, Tower 19.3, good day, thanks. Fuck you up, but it's going to maintain 5,000. When you leave 7, go direct to uh, Bayes. Here, fuck you up, but it's going to maintain 5,000, leaving 7, proceed direct Bayes. Reaching 4,000, you can go ahead and recover back to cruise. Do a Charlie Sierra, resume on navigation. Do a Charlie Sierra. maneuver I would like to see is take off and departure stall. We'll go ahead and clear the area back to the west. Let's do a 180, make sure there's no other southwest 737 coming our way. Have traffic. Have traffic. Let's see. Yep, I see traffic up there. Uh, looks like he's way up there though. Yes, sir. Power on stall. Take off and departure stall, please. Take off. Can you can you demonstrate one first? On the check line? No. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing the check line? Yeah, the free check ride. Remember we did it. We did power on stall. Yes, yeah, remember? I know. This one, you need a little bit of a tip, a clue, talk you through, you get rusty, huh? A couple of days not flying, you get rusty. Final 15 inches. Beautiful. Below 140, gear down. Beautiful. Below 100 knots, or 120 miles an hour, so top full RPM. Full RPM below 120 miles an hour, go ahead. Top full RPM. Top full RPM. Okay. Go ahead and establish a VX climb with 18 inches of metal pressure. 90 mile an hour climb. VX climb on the Seneca is 90 mile an hour. Power 
are 18 inches. There you go. Establish 90 mile an hour climb, nice and trim. Now slowly pitch up at about one degree per second until you get imminent stall. Your commercial, okay? Imminent stall. Not a full stall, imminent stall. Any indication? Buffet stall on recover. Full power, recovery, full power. Landing her up. Establish that positive rate of climb at VY. Which is about 105. Yes, and that's your stall recovery. I would like to come back to our clip, have Delta. Did you show a She should in 3 3 left. Up to the discretion. I want to try it again. Alright, you do it now. Thank you, and uh, pause description at 3,000, 5 kilo. indication is the stall horn. Give me a right turn. 20 degree right turn. Departure stall with a 20 degree bank. Let's do that just in case he gives you that tomorrow. The departure stall with the 20 degree bank. Yeah. You just departed, you're pitching up, you're not paying attention, you're turning outside for traffic. And so, power, throttle. and then keep pitching up one degree per second you have the stall horn that's my stall full power landing gear up by the climb and recover how about an approach and landing stall a power off stall power off stall yeah it's an accident you're stalling the aircraft on the approach and landing what do you do how do you recover with minimum loss of altitude? Recover with minimum loss of altitude. That's traffic, right? Good yeah, traffic. it looks like traffic, but it's not showing up on the TCAS. That means they're way up there. Okay, power back. Your base leg final is over there, where it's north towards the coastline. Simulate a turn from base to final and stall the aircraft.
fuel also maintain 2,000. There you go. That's what you want. Now you can get the gear up. Do you want the, the VOR or the GPS 2-4? on the recovery, okay? Minimum? Minimum sink rate, because imagine you're coming on the approach of landing and you're at 100 feet and then you stall the aircraft. If you lose 100 feet on that stall, you're dead. If you manage to recover within 100 feet, you're gonna stay alive. So the key here is to recover with minimum loss of altitude, okay? okay. Remember that. Now, we're going to do a VMC demo. That's our Kilopia 3 from Millum, turn left heading 270, maintain 2000, so establish on the fall approach course, cleared uh, GPS 24 push. When you're ready, VMC demo. 270 on the heading, clear out uh, GPS. One engine only. What? VMC demo. Yeah. Uh, loss of directional control demonstration, remember? Yes. Do you want me to cut the call the VMC demo? Yeah, I mean, you need to demonstrate it to the check line, right? So I cut my engine off. Yeah, you demonstrate it. The examiner is not going to touch anything. It's your maneuver. You do it and demonstrate. Okay, I'm going to lose my right engine. Mixture, throat, power, gear up, flat, up, left engine, dead engine, right engine, throat, feather. We windmill. On a VMC, on a VMC demo, we have one throttle full, the other throttle all the way back, where the other like engine is windmilling. Okay. So we don't feather on the. Not on the VMC demo. Okay. and the aircraft start turning from pitch down the operating engine. Pitch down. What else you can you do other than pitch down? Power back. On the operative engine. Yeah! You reduce your pitch and you throttle back on the operating engine. Imagine you're taking off now and you have an engine failure and you slow down too much. What's going to happen? I'm going to crash. Well, not necessarily crash. You're going to lose directional control if you slow down too much, right? I'm going to go 702 traffic 1 o'clock and 2 maneuvering at 25 indicated. Looking for traffic, Seneca 702. Okay, the VMC demo. Approach altimeter is 2973. Depart Deer Park on a 030 heading. It's shaky, okay? I don't think you understand the. Um, uh, the maneuver. Wow. 
why we do it. Okay? And I don't think you remember how to do it. We've done VMC. Yeah, yeah, we've done, but you cut my engine, not me. I just... No, I didn't cut the engine. We demonstrated it without cutting it. We did? No, yeah, we did a regular VMC demo, yeah. Okay, traffic 2500, let's take a look. See what we got. What is a VMC demo, okay? VMC demo is a demonstration of what happens to the airplane with one engine and operative when you slow down too much. Yeah. Why do we do it? We want to be able to recognize the loss of directional control and recover without losing directional control. Okay? You demonstrate it, then you do it. The examiner is not going to do anything. Seneca 702, traffic 2500 feet in sight. Okay, let's go ahead and clear the area to the right. Let's go ahead and make a right turn back. Falcon 3776, to the east. On a Keep an eye on that traffic. You see that traffic right there low? Yep, over right the water. Yeah, yeah, over the water. He's no factor. He's way down low. He's way low there. You want to proceed with the check ride or you want to lock up on this maneuver so you do it right? What do you prefer? What do you think? You said he's shaking. Yeah, a little shaky, like you don't really understand the concept of the whole maneuver. Like why we do it and all that good stuff. You want me to talk you through one? Demonstrate one? You want to just skip it and proceed with a check ride? How would no, you let's like? Do it one. You like to do one? You want me to talk you through one, or you want me to demonstrate one? Demonstrate one. Step. Okay, my controls. As previously discussed, you don't have any questions on the what and why, right? I explained myself pretty clear. All right. First thing first, do the pre-maneuver checklist. You want your fuel pumps on. All the lights on, flaps full, mixture full, okay, nice and trim, along the shoreline. Always pick a reference point so you know where you're going, okay? So you don't get drifted off course too much. Okay, okay. we're going to throttle back to 15 inches and slow the airplane down while holding our altitude and retrimming. I'm going to wait for the airplane to slow down to VYSC, which is 105. When you reach VYSC, left engine going to idle, right engine going to full, and slowly add full throttle. Up to 37, 76, direct rhymes. Hold your heading, hold that right foot and right aileron. You want about okay. three to five degrees towards the operating engine, okay? Just like so. Left engine idle, windmilling, right engine full power. Establishing VYSC 105. You're going to slow down at about one knot per second. As you're pitching up and increasing your pitch angle, you're going to slowly add more right rudder and more right aileron to compensate for that engine pushing full power. You get to the point where the airplane is slowing down too much and it's starting to drift to the left. You see what's happening here as I'm slowing? Uh -huh. I'm losing directional control. I'm going to reduce my pitch attitude and reduce my, bang, my uh, pitch angle so the airplane comes right back to the right to my original heading. 
When I get back to VYC, I can increase my power on the operating engine and regain directional control at VYC climb. To recover back to cruise, all we have to do is increase power on the left engine, which was windmilling, and retrim back to straight and level flight. Simple as one, two, three. You do it on your check ride, you demonstrate it on your check ride. The examiner is not going to touch anything. But look at the airplane, look outside. As the airplane is drifting, it's time to reduce the throttle and reduce the pitch angle to come right back to your original heading. And always have a heading bug so you know where you're going. Back to 4500. Nice and trimmed. And it's going to be your control. You're going to show me a VMC demo. My control. Okay. Okay, VMC demo. VMC demo, yes, sir. The maneuver check is done. Make sure propeller up. Going back to 1000. Thirty fifty six cross twenty at one one. Actually, well, cross twenty at or below eleven. Just want to maintain four thousand. try to resist you to simulate that loss of control, don't fight it. Kind of realize, okay, that's that's as far as where we want to go. So. Leave 10,
hard to see. Hard to see that prop over there. And the Does it stop? I can't see. It's hard to see. I don't think so. I don't think it's stopped. What about now? Now I think it's dead. I can feel it. Yeah, it's dead. Stop? Yep, I think so. You don't see it? No, you can need to point it more to... Yeah, I stopped. And just stop? Yeah. Okay, that's how you feather, okay? Okay. Do you remember the unfeathering procedure? Make I doubt, sure I reach. doubt the examiner is going to do that. Let's go a little bit towards the coastline. Yeah, make sure reach. I don't want to get too far to, from the coastline. Make sure reach, drop reach, throttle reach, full throttle, full. Okay, unfeathering procedures. It's going to be on the emergency procedure checklist. It says unfeathering procedure, okay? Okay. Fuel selector and operative engine on? On. Electric fuel pump and operative engine off. Off. Throttle open quarter of an inch, you're drifting. Go back to the coastline. Yeah, look outside, get, you know, closer to the coastline. Fuel pump off. Throttle open quarter of an inch. Throttle open a quarter. Propeller control forward to cruise RPM. Forward to cruise. Uh, about like right around there, 2,500 or so. Mixture rich. Mixture rich. Mag switch on, all mags on. All mags on. Be ready. And throttle engage. And throttle engage. Alright, I see it's spinning now. Shaking a little bit. And he's on. Alright, yep, looks like she's running now. Thompson 3850, okay. approach 120.8. Throttle engage until the propeller windmills and then throttle reduce power till engine is warm. So throttle back about 13, 14 inches or so until the engine's warm. Slowly, slowly gonna get warm. What's the cylinder temperature on the left engine? Temperature. Cylinder head temperature. Uh, zero. Zero? Yeah. All right, she's still cold, so let's wait for the engine to warm up. Gonna warm up a little bit. Think I can approach Seneca 40702. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, sir. Any chance we can do a uh, practice ILS approach runway 24 to Iceland? Sure. As long as you can maintain VFR 2000, that'll be, uh, that'll be fun. Okay, we'll maintain VFR 2000, 702. I'll approach terminate. We'll do a full stop landing, 702. 702, maintain 2000, VFR, advise information Delta, and fly heading 030. Heading 030, advise information Delta, maintain VFR 2000, 702. Okay, let's pick up Delta. He's going to give us the ILS approach 24. I would like you to do that. 183 feet MSL. Just turn towards the airport. Do it, it's information Delta. Go ahead, turn towards the airport while the engine left engine is warming up. Tower information Delta 2256, Zulu weather, wind 290 with 12 gust 19. Visibility 10, two clouds 3000, temperature 1, dew point minus 5, altitude 297. Yeah, you can descend it to that. GPS approach and use landing to point runway 33 left. Notice the airman on the tower, 3.7 miles west of 583 feet MSL. Advise on initial contact that you have its information Delta. You copy the weather? Final tower information Delta 2256, Zulu weather, wind 290 with 12 gust 19, visibility 10, few clouds 3000, temperature 1, dew point minus 5, altimeter 2972. GPS approach and use landing the point runway 33 left. Notice this airman on the tower 3.7 miles west of 583 feet right on initial uh, contact that you Airport's right there to your left. Yeah, but heading 030. You gave us a heading? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. 030. Sorry about that. 
Seven zero two verify. Seven zero two verify heading zero three zero descending two thousand. Seven zero two. Okay. Zero three zero two thousand. Good catch. I forgot we're going to the airport. I thought we we're going to the airport. Good catch. Excellent. All right. Good deal. So, my controls. Your controls. Go ahead and put your foggles. We're going to do a simulated single engine instrument approach, which is a required maneuver for your multi-engine rating. Are you ready? Ready. 4,000 feet descending 2,000, 2,000 feet from heading 030. Your controls? My controls. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Engine failure. And mixture. Drop. Throttle. Get up. Wrapped up. Identified. The red engine, right engine. Yet feathering. Go ahead, feather. Okay, you're good. Right engine. Right engine, feather. Right engine, feather. Okay. Right engine, feather. Single engine instrument approach, ILS-24. Okay, that's good. That's the left engine. You're fine. Okay, ILS approach. What else we need? Localizer. We need the localizer and the course heading. Localizer is 108.3. Uh, set it up. 108.3. And the heading course is 239. Okay, 239, 108.3. Very important. 239. 030 on my heading going down to 2000. Is it 108.3 set? 108.3 set. That's on what nav? What the nav? Too loud, hold on. Ready? Okay, 17 direct jug. Altitude is 2974. What's controlling the HSI? 360. What? Was that any uh, 360 for 702? Yes, it was. Alright, 702-360. 360. On the HSI, how do you control the localizer frequency on the HSI? How I control the localizer frequency on the HSI? Yes, sir, how do you do that? Where is the HSI localizer frequency? Where do you set the localizer frequency on the HSI? Here. Very good. Set it. Localizer there you go. Frequency. Now you're good. How do you identify the Morse code? Make sure that's the one. Where do you push to ID? Where do you push to ID it? On the Garmin 530, you push in order to identify the VOR, the localizer. Which button do you push? How about this guy? You see? Push to ID. Push it. There you go.
let's wait a little bit. Yeah. But the two most important things, what are those on the Alice approach? The localizer frequency and the course setting. Inbound course, okay. Inbound course is what? 239. 239. Go ahead and set it up on 239. Uh, 988, Quebec, Charlotte, Quebec, Charlotte. What about the frequency? 108.3. Uh, Beautiful. Sure. Do the same thing here, too. 108.3 and set 239, so you back both of them up. Very nice. What else can you do here to make sure it's going to make your... Direct to, direct to ice slip. Absolutely. You want to know where you're going. You have a situation awareness on the 530. Where are we going? You're under the hood. You're in the clouds instrument. You have single engine, one engine's feather, one engine's running. You're doing a single engine instrument approach. You want to use all the resource in the panel to assist you in doing so. Okay. Seneca 702, turn one setting 320, and advise Delta if you have it. Heading 320, we have Delta, we picked it up five minutes ago, we just didn't advise. Uh, 320, this heading 2,700. 320, 2,000. Gonna have crosswind on 2,4, okay, so. We're gonna consider this as a single engine. One, five, five, Julia, go ahead. Single engine approach and landing, and a crosswind landing, all right? Sometimes you have to deal with these two things at the same time. Very nice. Be low. Very nice. Very important to have that LOC in there. So you don't have any issues. You may pick up the identifier now. There you go. That's close enough. That's how you pick it up. There? Uh-huh. Now do the approach. Single engine hour approach. And we glide to Copa Live. Okay, glides one. Talk of Julie Ritter contact, altimeters 2971 at New Haven. And we, okay for the approach? Not yet. Heading um, 340 for now and uh, 2000, so. Heading 320. Set it up. 320 then. Medivac 8, Quebec, Charlie, turn What do you need to do here to make your life easy to see exactly where you are on the map? What do you need to do here? Clear. There you go. Much better. You have your track. You have your inbound course. Much easier, okay? You want to have that screen when you're doing the instrument approach. Seven three, and should maintain four thousand. Seven four thousand. Yeah, I'm sorry, we do have Delta. So it's only